New York Governor Andrew Cuomo delivering remarks right now. First time we've heard from him since the allegations were made of sexual harassment. The attorney general did a report on complaints made against me by certain women for my conduct. The report said I sexually harassed 11 women. That was the headline people heard and saw and reacted to. The reaction was outrage. It should have been. However, I am gay. I am disabled. I am Jewish. I am Jewish. I am gay. I am disabled. I am gay. I am disabled. I am gay. I am disabled. I am black. I am disabled. I am Jewish. I am a Muslim. I am gay. I am a woman seeking to control her health and her choices. I am gay. 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 I am black. I am gay. I am disabled. I am gay. 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 I am a Muslim. I am black. I am gay. I am disabled. The Wild Wild West. Woo-wee. Yes. Welcome. We're live. We're here with our guests, Mike Racine and Sean McCarthy. Hello, What's up, brothers. Yes. Yeah. We're back. We just did an episode and we're back for yes. another one. We switched seats. Yes. That's that's going to be. We got to switch the mojo a little. Yeah. We got to you know, play, play around with stuff, dude. Yeah. Now, Matt, you want to talk about sexual stuff? I just one thing. I you know I don't want to, I don't want to be gross. <laughs> Matt about told this. me in the, on the little interim we just took yeah. that he wanted to talk about sexuality. I, I was do. Like a, I just want to. This is a thing that I, I stumbled upon. You know, my wife was gone. She was away. And you were looking and at pornography. On I was internet. looking. I was viewing. Por- I did really good though. It was about a four day period. And I did really yeah. good. I'm saying I didn't pig out every night. Yeah. Right. Just pig I waited because I'm no, a married dude. guy too, and I, I barely watch pornography. Yeah. But it, every it once in a while, I get caught watching pornography, and you she get gets caught. Mad. Yeah, she gets mad. How do you get caught? Uh, I mean, I've got um, caught a couple times, but because I look at OnlyFans, so she oh, would, you see, so you can't uh, link the credit card, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You you're picking out. You got to use the free stuff, man. I was thinking like although. Go ahead. Well, if you if you like if you can't like jerk off to the OnlyFans preview though, you just don't have a good power of imagination. It's just like you gotta you yeah, gotta use your that, mind a little that more. That preview hooks you. Yeah, you I've get you in there. I always wondered. I'm like, how do people do this OnlyFans stuff? I got into. Did you ever get into tantric JOIs? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what's J- what's what is JOI? Yeah, see, this is why he jerk can't. Off instruction. He's like, I yeah, see. I did good because he does pig out. What do you mean? That's picking out, dude. Tantric JY is respectful. No, out. that's respectful. I might I might bring my wife in on it. And like, this is the most respectful <laughs> stuff I've ever seen. Do you know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what, what you're talking is. about now. Dude, a tantric JOI. Yeah. It's this lady who's like basically like, you know, if you want, you can look at me if you want, but like, don't even think about coming. Stop. You're just upset. All you're doing is trying to come. Just breathe. So like she's telling you how to breathe, and the way she's telling you how to breathe, you feel it in your penis. <laughs> you breathe, you go. <laughs> All the way down, and it just you're like, oh, that is a little bit of a tickle, dude. Really? And she's just training you to like, just like, don't be a pig, don't be like, I'm gonna fucking call. Yeah. She's like, slow it down. But then it keeps ending, and it's like, I'm like, what? And I'm not getting the final instructions. And I like genuinely was like, I'm probably, you know, I could join her OnlyFans. She's doing a good thing. It's like meditating. <laughs> Did basically. you join her OnlyFans? No, but I'm thinking about it. Dude. You should. I might. I might. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. It, honestly, I it was the only time I've ever jerked off and been like, that was a good. That was good. Yeah. That was a good thing. I learned. How to breathe with my penis, dude. See, and that's something I would be like, penis, this dude. is bad. I shouldn't good. have these powers. No, it's good, dude. It's I just good. like seeing a girl try to audition for a calendar. Yeah. And then she ends up getting doggy styled. Yeah, and I, I finish and I say, thank you for your service. And I go about my day. I open it up now. I, I get turned off I by it, man. Asleep. I, I open it up and it's just disgusting. What? Porn? Every time I open a porn thing, yeah. it's just like, yeah, of course. Disgusting. Well, it's like 99% yeah. of it is like garbage. Yeah, and like then you have that, that voice in the back of your head where you're like, is this human trafficking? Like this, the this like oh, I finally found my video because like I'm into like well the I like the homemade or like the iPhone shot. I just find yeah. like all the other shit like way too fake. And then it's like you know some of it's like ex girlfriend or whatever. Like you don't know how real it is. True. But the thing is like real authentic like actual people having sex is more of a turn on but at the same time it's like well that's more likely to be revenge porn or like trafficking or whatever the fuck so you can't really win 
Tantric JOI, dude. Yeah, I guess that's right. Right. That's ethical pornography. Slave, this is dude. not a slave. This is a free lady. How do you know it's not a slave? She's so free, dude. You never know. If the, if there was like a Russian dude with a bat behind her, <laughs> yeah. it'd be so funny. It's like how they train elephants. <laughs> like how did they teach this lady to make my dick breathe, hmm. dude? They it's, hit her with sticks. I'm telling you, Tan- I got. I wish I remembered her name. I'll have to find her, dude. But I was like, that was only one. And I Who's was only like, fans? Are you buying people you know? True. Because um, then, no. yes, I could see how your wife would be right. Upset. Yeah, but but not really. No, but not people really? that I people that yeah, I like follow on Twitter, but don't know personally. Right. And then and then she get into like Twitter but, porn. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm nervous with Twitter stuff. Well, I'm yeah. going to retweet something. Like, ah, shit. Yeah, it just means so little to me that there I don't was, even. There was a girl. Know, yeah, yeah. Think anything there of it. There was a girl and her boyfriend that came to a show, mm-hmm. and it turned out they were they did porn together, mm-hmm. and I feasted. You feasted. <laughs> no, I didn't. I felt weird. It felt weird. Yeah, of course. I did feast slightly, and then I was like, "This is something's wrong." I've met these people. I've seen that dude. Yeah, I, I jerked off to a. I, I watched a guy I've met. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's God. how you. That's how you end up in like an orgy, like kind of like with a I'm dude the last like rubbing thing your orgy wants to see, dude. No, nah, you'd be surprised, Rolling dude. In. Dude, they would love. I'll it. tell you what. I had to sit next. This just reminds me of like fat people on planes. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's fat honestly dude, my, some fat, guys like fat guys in an orgy must just be like please don't sit next to me please don't sit. <laughs> fuck he's looking at my fucking seat i had to sit next to look i'm i'm big hmm. but i don't yeah this lady was massive and i had to sit next to her on my flight to rochester and thank christ it was in one hour flight but yeah. dude she couldn't fit in the seat she lifted the arm bar so that she could sit down oh. and then closed it through her fat. The fat spilled under and over the armrest, and I had to fucking sit next to her. What? So, and I'm the second biggest guy on the fucking plane. Yeah, she fun. big dogged you. Oh. Yeah. What if, like, the plane, like, smashed and you got to see her, like, go, like, Kirby and Smash Brothers when, and, like, <laughs> when, flying through the air? When the plane was taxiing, I've been playing Flight, flight Simulator. Yeah. I know all about this. Yeah. When the, the throttle was the whole way up, but they hadn't started. And, uh... While it was moving, she was she had her arms crossed on top of her bulbous fucking stomach, <laughs> and while the plane was moving, she was totally just jiggling, just rocking like away. a fucking plate of jello. Imagine oh. she's like, just, "Hey, are you that guy who lost his job?" Yeah, just like, yeah, make yeah. it worse. And uh, <laughs> and she smelled. Uh-huh. Yeah, I smelled her smelled fucking bo through the mask. Yeah, and then it was so bad, and I'm never mean to people. Yeah, yeah. But a you know, store just came by and I was like, "Can I move my seat?" Like I said, it clearly earshot. I mean, we we were yeah touching the entire flight. Yeah, can I move? And I, there was an open seat behind me, and then she was like, "Yeah, you, well, give it a second. We the gate's not closed yet." And a guy came on and God said, damn. "Fuck, you couldn't switch." Oh yeah, that was yeah, fuming. Yeah. I've never been fuming like that at another person. Yeah. I, I was fuming so bad I wanted to be like, "Yo, you gotta, you can't do this." <laughs> I was clo- I, like the whole time I was like, "What? How do I say it?" Yeah, how yeah. do I say it? I was like, so I hated this lady like, so much. I wanted to just can we get or anything. Yeah, she was with a guy. Oh, here's another thing. They were writing. I was standing in line to get on the plane. Mm-hmm. They, her, and her fucking ugly bitch husband. Was cut he skinny me off. as hell? Was he skinny as hell? He was not skinny as hell, but he was skinny fat. Yeah. Uh, he, they walked directly in front of me. Yeah. Before what? in line, they just walked straight in front of me in the line to the point where I leaned over and I was like, "Hey, hey!" I said, "Hello," <laughs> and they didn't. They were they were too fat. Yeah, I had a friend who like legitimately confided in me. He's like, "I don't trust fat people." He's like, "They're gr- obviously greedy." That fat where they're like, I mean, <clears throat> spilling over and under an armrest. I mean, it's a problem. It's an issue. What's the health thing? Be everyone's like, "Oh, it's a health condition." It's like, dude, I'm pretty sure if I isolated you. And watch and was like, nope, nope, nope. You would lose like 400 pounds. Yeah. <clears throat> so I always wonder about that because people say, I, I knew a guy, he was a machine operator and he was like, my fucking thyroid. We'd always be like, dude, you got fat as fuck. And he's like, I have a fucking thyroid condition. Fuck you. And every day I'm like, but you eat cheesesteaks every day. Hmm. Oh, cheesesteaks every day. That's, that's a pretty, thyroid condition. That's dude. a condition, dude. <laughs> yeah. You just want to munch. There, there is a, I think if someone's within your seat space in, I in was, air, dude, you're allowed to pinch whatever you want. I, you could have been like, eh, eh, I eh. was shifting and I was grumbling the Did whole you? time. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was, was so fucking, so you're fighting fat lady energy yeah. with fat lady energy. I was, yeah, I was grumbling. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I sat like that the whole flight. Oh, it was crazy. Dude. <laughs> it was crazy. 
<laughs> just such and a I was like, if this plane goes down, at least she goes down too. Right. I, there was a part of me like, oh, she might have saved you though. The lot, plane lot, went lot, down. Lot. You, you can ride her t- all if the that way fucking down. engine shot out. She would have leveled the plane. I'd be like, man, sit on that side. <laughs> the plane crash down. had one survivor. This man, Shane <laughs> yeah, Gillis, yeah. who you might remember from. Yeah. yeah. That's like yeah, a, yeah. Known racist it. survives plane crash. Known <laughs> racist survives plane crash. <laughs> Apparently, Apparently you say he used a overweight woman's body. Yeah. She would have been a pillow. Himself. Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's it like in, so much. In yeah. Star Wars where he cuts open the Bantu and like climbs in <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> to survive the frigid air. <laughs> <laughs> he wraps himself in yeah god yeah, yeah that's I was... that's i tried to get myself out of that because I'll, I'll go on a flight and i'll go like not basically i just want to i only want girls to sit next to me sure they yeah. never do though that's like the it's fantasy unit, is that dude. you're gonna dude, like meet somebody and like exactly. we're gonna hit it off yeah and but, never you ever yeah, try to or, hit that or combo the bus is better for that actually yeah. the mega bus or, yeah that's yeah. where you meet the sluts <laughs> that's right yeah. Yeah. i'm sitting yeah. delta plus with with they're hard up on cash something went wrong in their life yeah First, I usually I usually fly first class, Not bad. and it's usually just that's the only time I spend money. Yeah, that and Grubhub, <laughs> those are the only thing. And uh, it's usually just me and white dudes. Mm-hmm. Mm. First class is very. You get some Indian fellas. It's a patriarchal system. You get some Indian. I've seen some Indian fellas. So a few up, Chinese, come up. Chinese dudes. Chinese. True. I was sat next to an Asian lady on the flight, the last flight. It was great. Walked by, you're like, hey, She's like, hey, you, good for you. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing up <laughs> wow. here? That's a first class. That's you're paying for a first class. You're just keeping the fats in the back. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Knowing that fat's getting up in first class. Yeah, but she should. They should have – that. she was too big. She, I think I'm, – I'm too big. Was she she's, was t- way too was big. Was she spilling into your seat? Yes, totally. You could have been like, Dude, Man. she had to open it to sit and then close it through her body. That's such a fat pull, move, it was, Just to be like <laughs> – Just to oh. fully not – like, big, hey, just being like, this is mine. I'm taking this. She yeah. probably went home and wrote a blog post about how the yeah. white man that sat next to her on the grumbled. Plane, yeah, grumbled she wasn't. She time. wasn't a writing fat. No, she was. <laughs> she wasn't. Writing she fat. wasn't blogger fat. More she of like a just, drive, just a drive just through. Fat. Yeah, flying to Rochester. Mm-hmm. They should have been driving. I don't know yeah. what they were doing in the air. Yeah, should there should dri- be. There should they be should have be been driving a car shipped like a hot dog <laughs> <laughs> to Rochester. <laughs> You Did you think her, about tempting her at all with like some snacks, some treats? Yeah, yeah they, gave us, they gave us biscuits. I almost crumbled them to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped her. Tra- she couldn't have fit in the bathroom. Really? She would not have fit in Oof. that bathroom. Usually, there's a thing where they'll make people buy two seats if you're a certain. She way. should have. You should have told on her. That's I did. I basically did I, with the stewardess. Yeah, I said, right here. Yeah. Said yo. I was like, can I switch seats? I'm such a dumb liberal. I would have been like. And she might have a condition, and yeah. she's beautiful. That's right. She's a beautiful woman. She may have had a condition. And it doesn't make a difference. I, I can't judge people for being like this. And I, yeah, I know it was a, that's what I it was my to, weakness that I was I'm, judging her yeah. as aggressively as I was. Yeah, I was of, mad at her. Yeah, kind of fun to do like puppets with a fat person's roles, though, like puppetry of the penis or some shit. Bro, you would. There was. I hated her. <laughs> I didn't want to come near her. Yeah, I mean, she dude, was touching me. You could have gotten into it and just been could like, you if switch she's with in her space, husband. You could have gone full. I, that's kind of the bullshit. Yeah, I thought about it, but yeah, then I feel bad for who I'm switching with because he was skinny fat. Then I'm the unit moving in. No, yeah. you no, know no, what no. I mean. You, you, some, but nah, you're contained. I, I'm you're very, contained within your space. I feel bad about it. But you're contained. Yeah, Th- that should have been that's that should be the policy. You can't let that hu- husband was probably in heaven, dude. Yeah. He was probably like, oh man, I got this oh, whole fucking God. seat. Imagine, dude, imagine, you know, you know, girls will sometimes be like, let me lay on you. Let me yeah. call it. She, dude, she probably every now and again just throws his arm up and he just goes. Mm. He's like. Mm. Shit. Mm. Shit. Mm. Oh, this is my favorite show. He's like, God fucking damn it, dude. You got to push him off. I push the ladies off. Yeah, Get off of me. The girl I'm yeah. with now it's tr- tries to snuggle constantly. And I'm literally just like, no. <laughs> you know I hate that. We're not doing that. No cuddles at all. I hate cuddles. Really? I hate cuddles. What's your favorite kind of cuddle? What if? What about, have you ever been Little Spoon? No. Little Spoon's pretty comfortable. I don't think I like that. Little Spoon's comfy, dude. Uh, I sleep naked, too. So the yeah, cuddling of course, is- of course you do. What's wrong with cuddling? Penis sp- against a lady? That's the best thing. It is nice. That, that I do you like. Snuggled, you snuggled. Yeah, you Then fucking- my arm. Then your arm's stuck. You just do it for a little bit. Yeah, and you snuggle yeah, a little the teen- bit. You snuggle the penis until somebody falls asleep, and then you gotta yeah, you're wake off. up. Yeah. This this is the uh, this is the this is the uh, topic du jour right now. Mm-hmm. I listened to almost the entire Will Smith biography this weekend. 
Yeah. So while I was farting, the whole time I was farting <laughs> under my blankets, I'm, I was just listening to Will Smith's life. Dude, it's fucking wild. Why? It's it's like a... He's having a weird fucking time, dude. Bro. He needs to knock it off. You gotta listen to this whole thing. Isn't he a Scientologist now, too? Or he's I, like adjacent, at least. What's adjacent? Like adjacent to Scientology. Uh, Well, he's right now he's questing... You gotta listen to his whole biography, but it's like okay. Well, I'm not. He, you should. <laughs> I promise you. I'm I telling won't. you, you should. You should listen to it, dude. It's I'm good. on revolutions right now, dude. I'm falling asleep listening to the fucking Boston dude, Tea Party. Dude, I'm telling you, he Will Smith. It's you, when you read it, it's like because you know he's just like a dude in a million movies who did a bunch of stuff, and then you heard like his wife cheated on him, and everyone just went like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. was my reaction, being like, what? And it's being like, eh. it's just it's for some reason it's funny too to watch a mega celebrity slide into almost being like ironic. He became yeah. a joke kind of, you know, not to for be, sure, not, not to slam big Willie. Cause now I feel connected after his autobiography, yeah. but like he went from like the best, like crushing, he like talks about it. Blockbuster record breaking shit where like he could not miss and it caused problems in his family. You know life. where he started to miss wiki. Wow. Wow. No dude. After, even after that, he still fucking, it, start, it still kept killing it. Um, I am legend, dude. No, of course, of course. He's every he still is. Everything he does is good, That's what I said. except like Gemini Man stunk. After Earth, dude. After so, Earth. dude. At what happened was he was. But he just did King Richard, and it's a fucking it's phenomenal. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Again, Will Smith is fine. Will Smith's a great actor. Fantastic. He's yeah. a fantastic actor. It's when you listen to the book, it, he bear he just lets it all out, dude. And it's like it it's like you didn't know any of the stuff about him. Like, dude, like the whole thing, like, oh, what Fresh Prince? I, I, I was running with some bad guys. He was getting the shit kicked out of him, dude. Yeah. He was walking around Philly in cowboy boots. They weren't just putting him on his shoulders and spinning him around? <laughs> That's a security guy, by the way. <laughs> oh, really? That's Charlie Mack. Nice. The guy who spins him is a security guy. Nice. But, dude, he was apparently, like, he was saying he was, like, his dad would, like, beat the shit out of his mom. He was a compulsive liar, too. There's a point like, There's a point later in the book where he, he like, says a memory, and then he's, like, so he builds this whole thing up, and he's like, yeah, and I told my mom that story. He's like, that never happened. He's like 40 years old. But he would walk around in cowboy boots, and people would just, like, just trash him constantly. The first day he went to Overbook, someone hit him in the head with a combination lock. Ooh. They, like, beat the shit out of him, dude. And then he got, like, tied in with, like, when his music blew up, he lost. He was, like, broke when he was doing the Fresh Prince. Really? He was hanging out with, like, what is it, Junior Black Mafia dudes? Really? Yeah, dude. He, like, it's, dude, it's insane. He was like, he had a mansion. He, he got cuckolded early on in life as well by his like original girlfriend. and that Like, like he him. raised a child cuckolded or just got cheated on? No, cheated on. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh wait. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus Christ. Just yeah. cheated on. Okay. But I think he, I think he uses the term cuckolded or something. He, yeah. He uses cuckolded. That's so like, weird. He was crushing it, dude. He was like, music. wait, every time you get cheated on, you're being cucked. I mean, that's like cucked light. Yeah. That's how you end up a cuckold, like a, a like a biological cuckold. But when you get cheated on, you've been cuckolded. He was like, in my young, cuckolded mind. He said some kind of phrasing like that. Yeah, yeah, dude. And he was crushed. He was like traveling, touring, all this stuff. And all the dudes were getting pussy. And he was like, no pussy. I love... He's a lover boy. He's yeah. like, I love my wife. I just want the perfect life. And then he came back and she just like... He was like a global sensation. She, she fucked a dude and like she like sold clothes in a store. Fuck some light-skinned motherfucker, dude. Of course. Green-eyed, light-skinned motherfucker, dude. I was. I heard that. I was like... Ah, it's always the light skins. That's what he said, basically. Always fucking our chicks. <laughs> That's what he said. Some light eyed motherfucker, green eyed, light skinned motherfucker, dude. Fuck. Yeah, dude. It's the the book. It is. It's interesting to listen to, and it's co written with Mark Manson, who's a subtle art of not giving a expletive. Really. So there's all these little things in it's. It's like, you know, it's read by Will Smith. There's a lot of like kind of like cheesy shit, kind of. But if you can just listen to it, it's very interesting. Hmm. I couldn't put it down, dude. I couldn't take my earbuds out. Nice. He also admits to throwing up whenever he sees or I heard smells that. pussy. Well, no, it was because he got cuckolded. Yeah. And, now and then he's he allergic. tried to just start getting, he's like, I'm going to be a pussy machine. He would like, he needs the love connection, dude. So he would be coming and just be like, Ugh! and just get up and gag and like run away. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there was one part in it that was possibly the most disturbing part. Cause like, hear it. He has a lot of insight into his younger childhood. You can tell he's working with therapists, and he's like, "Well, this was because of this." And you're listening to it, like, "Oh, that's kind of insightful." And then he, as like the years go by, it's like newer stuff that hasn't been processed as fully. So he, he like he's talking, he's like talking about him and Jada's relationship, 
And at one point, there's a story he tells that he's like, yeah, man, I did it. He's like, I'm a prankster. So I did this prank on Jada. And it's like, she doesn't think it was funny. I think it's the funniest thing ever. But like, I'll leave it to you guys to decide once and for all. And he's like, you know, he's like, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, here's what happened. And he was like, so I brought me and Jada had been together for, I, I guess it was like a couple months. It was still fresh. And he was like, true. <laughs> <laughs> so she was going to meet his grandmother. And so he flew his grandmother out to California, LA, where he was living. And he has this thing where he like knows how long it takes for anyone to get to play. He like times people in his head. So he's like, it'll take her 47 minutes to get where she's from her house to my house. This, and He's like, I'm going to put on a movie for my grandmother, a movie that she had like a, like a very notorious sex scene in with another guy. Where Jada did? Jada did this movie. Oh. Apparently that was like a award winning, like groundbreaking sex scene. It was groundbreaking in black cinema. So it was well known for all the actors and stuff. So he timed it to where he put the movie on with his grandmother, knowing that Jada would walk in the door right as that sex scene came on. And he was like, it's a prank. So she walks into her getting just like dog balled on camera. <laughs> and it was like a long movie. You know, movie sex is just like a guy yeah. like thrust and comes immediately. This was like a fucking like ridiculous. What was that funny movie where they had like they made fun of it? They did like a sex montage. Uh, and it was Gruber. McGruber, it was like it was like real life. Uh, apparently it's yeah. like real life uh, yeah. from, from the way he described it it was like real life McGruber. you can't watch McGruber with your lady they don't like it huh i every time i've ever done that i end up we've had sex and i do that oh <laughs> i can't not do it i can't watch McGruber and then have sex because i'm gonna go i'm about to fill you up oh uh, yeah <laughs> dude so he puts it on and she walks in and just goes like what the fuck and then, like, they sit there, the whole thing, but the grandmom's kind of going like this. And th this is the weirdest part where he was like, babe. He's like, and he's this is him describing it. He's like, babe, it's perfect for us. This is perfect for us. This is a memory. This is the best. You're going to laugh. She's like, this isn't funny. This is fucked. He's yeah. like, no, babe. He, like, does, he'll do these things and be like, but it's perfect for us. This is a memory. Yeah, he's just fucked up. That's what I, He's I, a famous I, person. Yeah. yeah. But it was like that. There famous was the, people are fucked up. Yeah, but that was the part of the book I was like, you know, and he's pretty hyper competitive, and it was like, are you sure you weren't punishing her for having that sex scene? Definitely. And it, it, but that was the that for me that was like the part of it where I was like, whoa, dude, that didn't get fully processed. He's like, anyway, I thought it was funny. She did it, and it was like, yeah, dude, that's not funny. That's not a joke, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but I will say he does lay it all out there. I'd be so ticked off if my wife or girlfriend was in a movie and even kissed a guy I'd be like bro, all right we're done he has to understand the bro ship is here it's like bro we're with you that sucks don't put that on for your grandmother and your yeah baby. maybe i wouldn't let it go and i would constantly shame her myself i mean dude i hear it it was just so funny to watch and maybe again maybe he does think it's funny on some level but i was watching it just like listening to the, i got like i was at the gym listening to it and i just went like oh man yeah, that's fucked up I'm like that's really crazy but you know Still goat move. I'm sure she never did that shit ever again. You better not be. He's, he's like the dog shoving the dog's nose. And you gotta speak into the mic. Speaking of why, why is this? Why is this a weekly thing? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did, well, don't be sorry. Fix it. I am right now, dude. Right. If what, Will what is here, the dog if Will like? were here, he's just shoving. You <laughs> <laughs> shoved her nose in it. He oh did. yeah, like, you have you to. Do? That was uh, yeah, that was a deep. That was a deep fucking. <laughs> It was a deep attack. Well, you know, ultimately, though. Oh, dude. And then so. And then we watched the interview. So I'm I'm just like, I'm deep into Will Smith's mind the whole weekend. I'm just watching this shit being like, it was interesting. The fact that he was at the height, the pinnacle of an actor's career. Pretty much, you know, as big as a person could get. Yeah. And he was like miserable. As big Willie. Because when he did After Earth, his family, he was just like, you know, on just go mode. Go, go, go. You know, his family wasn't really too happy about it. And he was married to an actress who, that's a fucked up dynamic. Yeah. When somebody's like global sensation, she got so fucked up, she eventually started a heavy metal band. <laughs> she had what? She started a heavy metal band. She did? Yeah, dude. Wicked Wisdom. Jada started a heavy metal band. So he was Wicked like, Wisdom? <laughs> it was Wiki Wisdom? <laughs> Wiki Wisdom. <laughs> not, Wiki, not Wiki Wisdom, it was Wicked Wisdom. What the fuck? Yeah, I always, everybody always acted like she was some fucking... Superstar. It's like no, she's not. I mean, she was. A, she was in what? Set it off, and that was it. That was the movie. That Jada Pinkett. 
Oh, really? Was she that was the sex, sex scene? scene? Set it off. Oh, was it with, who was it with? Queen Latifah. Yeah, Queen Latifah. <laughs> no, who was the sex scene with? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> was it really set it off the sex scene? Yeah, I was just looking it up. Thank you, no. Damn, no, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like uh, she was like an extra in the Matrix, the second one or something. Well, dude, the, he was supposed to be in the Matrix. Will Smith? Yeah, he who's turned gonna, it down. Who's he gonna was play? supposed to be fucking Keanu Reeves. What? Yes. He turned it down? He did. Well, because he had a formula, because he knew what He made- turned down one of them. It was the Matrix. Yeah, he turned down the Matrix to do Wiki Wow Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But he still got he the record He also turned sales. down Django. Yeah, I've seen that. Why? I don't know. Well, he has a formula for movies where you need to have creatures, a love story, and special effects. Those are the things that sell, ultimately. That was initially he did that. MIBs, Independence Day. He loves aliens. That was his his manager read, read like five hundred scripts and was like, "This is the formula for blockbusters: special effects, creatures, and a love story." And he still picked Wiki Wild over the Matrix. There were some creatures. There were. There was a big spider. <laughs> was a big mechanical spider and a handicapped man. That counts. <laughs> that counts as a creature. True. Yeah, they had a Doctor Robotnik, didn't they? They as did. That's the fucking feeling. Pure Robotnik. <laughs> That movie, I was pumped on that movie. A movie fucking ruled. Everything, he everything was right he on did, that. Artistically, every, he was right on Wiki Wild. Everything he did, I was as a young man, I was dude, pumped on. Wiki Wild, dude. dude all he, if, when he put out a song for it, that was part of his MIBs marketing. MIBs and Wiki Wild Wild was like, yeah, those were good songs. That was part of his marketing, dude. They still hold up. Yeah, man. That Here was part come of the men in black. It's stuck in your head. It's a marketing dude. He's a marketing genius. But yeah, he would go do movies like that, and then he would cut a track, and then that would get more press and all that stuff. Dude, it was the the weirdest part was is when a because there was a whole thing of like within the acting realm, like he's at a party basically, and it's like, damn, Jamie Foxx must have felt like a loser in front of Will Smith, and it, it goes into a lot of that kind of psychology. How it's like there's actors and there's superstars. Yeah, you could been in like all these movies, and you're just like, yeah, guy's kind of a fucking nobody. It was like, dude, it was fucking crazy. But that's so he got to the peak of the mountain. His family started disintegrating because his is you know just because of like the crazy work schedule. All this other stuff. So he was like, all right. You know, his, his Willow got in to whip my hair back and forth. She quit halfway through tour. She was like, all right, I'm done. He was like, yeah. What the fuck? No, no, you can't be done. But she quit. And then uh, he was, Jaden wanted to be in a movie. So he was like, I'm going to heal my family. We're going to do a movie together. And it was After Earth. And it fucking flopped. And then J- he had to sit there and watch everyone tear his son apart. Man, this guy's a fucking hack. Loser. Yeah, but then Jaden dad- came out with Icon. What was Icon? It's a great song. True, I met I met him once in California. You met Jaden Smith. I met Jaden. He was really? at the wing spot. I was getting buffalo wings, and he was there with his posse. And I was eating buffalo wings, and I just screamed Jaden. And he turned around and gave me one of these, and then looked away. Sweet. You screamed Jaden. I, <laughs> I was eating a buffalo wing, and Jayden. I was like Jaden, Jaden. I looked buffalo wing falling out of my Jayden. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> eating wings. Yeah, yeah. I met Jaden. That's What's nice. up? Yeah. He was cool. And Icon's a a bop. It is a bop. Hair hair back and forth. They played it it's during the song. audiobook. I was like, this was this this song. Yeah, it's also a bop. This song did rule. Yeah, Jay Z was in that deal apparently too. I think Jay Z was like managing Willow and then Willow just cut her all of her hair off. I was like, I'm out, I'm done. I don't nice. want to tour. Women can just shut shit down. Oh, Be like, dude. I'm just gonna shave my head and everyone's like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't want to but, um, yeah, but it was cool. But to answer your question, he does eventually get into kind of like meditation and stuff because he was yeah. way against it he was like this stuff's fucking weird he was a very like binary i'm just gonna win i'm gonna win i'm gonna win i'm gonna win and then his family started to deteriorate and then he did after earth and it deteriorated even further damn after earth must and have been really August bad Alcina huh? came in who's that oh that's the guy who fucked his lady here's the other thing too though honestly it i think he got cucked for all of us dude because it's like if he can get cucked you can't feel bad yeah there's nothing else you can do he got cucked for us since he got cucked for us dude because any if you get cucked, it's like yeah, well Will Smith got cucked. You can't do any more yeah, than that. Turns out, I think what, what's going on with Nancy Reagan? I don't know. Is she cuck? Right? All I've seen is she was just great at sucking dick. What? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Is Nancy Reagan was sucking dick as a young movie as a starlet? Yeah, I think there's. Like oh wait, a, was she a starlet? Yeah. Ronald was a star, wasn't yeah, he? Ronald was a star. I don't think Ronald, Nancy Ronald was. She was just around Hollywood. Yeah. What? Ooh. Also, for, if, but that was back when That's like nobody sucked dick though. 
So if you were sucking dick back then, you were a fucking attraction. Yeah. I didn't. I used to work for like a 75. I will be a soldier and I will uh, die for my country. Yeah, we have soldiers who want to live for the country and die for the country. When I will grow up, I will be an army and save Pakistan and destroy India. Strong army, wow, great! My pledge is to help people who are uh, who need uh, for like poor, uh, people uh, money and all this. He's going to help the people in Pakistan great. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Inshallah, we have a bright future. We are we have a student who are going to make Pakistan a great nuclear nation. Wow, wow, Wes. I'm going to get you like a big flashlight butt you can smack right on camera before we start. Yeah. Welcome to the God Show. <laughs> We're going to do that. Right yeah. after, bro. Get we pumped. have to welcome to the God Show. What's up, Sean? You, were, you I believe, wow. you're recording. Feeling so let's keep a good eye on this because I, yeah. I was made to. If, guys, if you're listening to this, join the Patreon if you want to see my fat moon face zoomed in for 20 minutes. <laughs> Sean, Sean thought he'd play a goof on me. He wanted to stab me in the back. He premeditated the whole way That's up. I bullshit. was like, Sean, don't, Sean. You knew don't. that would hurt my. You knew I. I told. Like I was like, Sean, whatever you do, don't let the camera. Don't release zoom. ten minutes of my close-up face listening to a story. <laughs> the funniest thing is how slow over oh. the course of ten minutes it slowly creeps. Yeah, it in. is. It is funny. There's no funny. denying that. <laughs> so funny. obviously, it's going to be shown. <laughs> but man, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, dude! How, how some bad. guys just have the worst crap luck, dude. Some guys do have it bad. Dude, SNL fired. I get on road now. I'm a regular on Joe Rogan. Canceled by the entire world. Uh, yeah. That's what kinda, the hell? Although I, I still think it's kind of dry. <laughs> no, Rogan's is good. Yeah, I think he's doing pretty Rogan's well. Rogan's will survive. They're trying though. They're going to be giving him like the you know they're I mean they're probably been doing it for a while digging in the past hitting old people up like hey do you have anything yeah like that's fucked up dude. And then he, you, the video he released was good. Did you watch that? I noticed they didn't tint his fucking face either. Yeah, I saw that. He looked clear as day. Why did they do that? That's crazy. What was? Did they there a reason him? for that? Yeah, the COVID because they one. wanted to make him look like he was sick from COVID. That was crazy. He looked healthy. They made him gray. They must. How many Gardinis do you think CNN has to fucking play Premier tricks? A lot. Yeah, I'll a lot stop of Gardinis. picking at my lip eventually. What do you mean? Oh, the dry patch. Yeah, I keep trying to get it. There's a from, little piece of skin. Bite it off. Be a man. Yeah, bite it off. Get that baby skin going. Uh, yeah, I think CNN is ran mostly by Gardinis. I think so. Just like, how can we make this guy, this powerful man, look foolish? We will tint him. Yeah, he looked like hmm. orange and green. Yeah, I did see that, and it was like, what? There has to be some like, oh, you know, sometimes when we process film, it's like, nah, I'm pretty sure you guys. I know what you guys did. That's dastardly, dude. Yeah, think of what they could do to Biden if they wanted making him look old. Oh my god, just. Not using a filter, just using regular camera. I mean, he's geezed. Did up, you dude. see the video? Someone sent me a video where it's just compilations of Biden, like all of a sudden, like looking in a direction. So he'll be talking, and he'll still get quiet, and someone will be like, "Joe," and he just like turns <laughs> yeah, he goes and looks. Dude, it's so fun, huh? And he <laughs> so, walks. I saw one so today of him weird. just walking away during a speech. I mean, dude, they they dogged <laughs> Trump. Did he really? Yeah, it was. It was. I think Jill was speaking. He was standing next to her. And then he just walked back so you could see him like walk away too it was pretty funny off yeah somebody must have told him something yeah of course they were like hey joe you gotta come here you gotta you got ice cream we got a treat for you oh he true. loves his treats he does love i can treats. relate to that and i support his treat his love of treats yeah but like dude imagine What's more relatable dude that's just our sweet leader that's true but imagine you know? how much if they like they fucking they bird dog trump the entire time they're on his ass if they gave him like dude an they, ounce of the criticism they gave. Yeah, like things How were going. They were things were going pretty poorly, and instead, I noticed. I, I I try to read the news every now and again, and they had the article was uh, Joe Biden's taking time to step back 
and reassess the, what's going on. It's like, yeah, how that's not a real story. The title that's, should be Joe Biden is scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> He's spiraling out of control. And this is we got to figure it out now. I don't believe that, but that's how the article would have been. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not. I, the reason I don't believe that is because I don't know. Yeah, who the fuck? I'm knows? not saying he's not scrambling. Well, I think they were like specifically pressing him on when he was in there, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna raise student debt." Yeah, and they're like, "Did you take any student debt away?" Are and you? They're like, "We don't comment on that right now." It's like, yeah. you know, but again, dude, we're not gonna let you know our plans. Yeah, but they're like, right now he's taking because everything's just going poorly and everyone's miserable. So that's the thing. I, I I really wonder whether it's like I'm sure they're doing like real stuff sometimes, but it's like it's funny when like things just suck and it's like yeah everything sucks right now, dude. You're getting a bad. He's just a bad couple of years. Yeah, everything sucks. And it's like, well, we'll do a story that you stepped back to reassess. Yeah, we'll say you're working on it. Shouldn't they be doing that every single day? They should probably be assessing like, things constantly. Like, well, you sort of take a step back. The president takes a step back to re. And there's a Who's, bunch of. What article is this? Do you remember? I forget. It was something that came out like two weeks ago. It might have been on the news. I think maybe. I don't know because I, I, we had the, we had we had the in laws over the house, bro. Somebody come help me a couple days ago. Really, <laughs> classic. I'm just a married guy. With the in laws. You had the in laws over. The in laws over. Sometimes the news pops up and the in laws are over. So they'll, they'll be watching the news. But I, I think it might have been even before that though. It's like Joe Biden's going to step back to reassess and kind of. How do the in laws feel about the news? Uh, we caught a hot news take. Oh, so we were driving. We were I was drop, was dropping off the in laws at the airport and. Uh, a thing came on the radio and it was about voter ID. And it was funny because I, I, I'm in the back. Brittany's up front with me. I'm driving and um, in-laws are in the back. And I hear a couple like, mm, like a couple of those. And then, of course, Brittany's black conservative. She launches into like, so what? People need to pre- present like a, an identification to what? Vote? She's like, that's weird. She's like, you know, I got to present one to get into a restaurant. But I guess you don't need one to vote. For the, and like, dude, it was just bought a lot of tight lips. How'd that ha- How'd that go? It got it. I she was escalating. I know what she was doing. Yeah. So I just from the driver's side went. It's all bullshit and just silenced the That's whole thing. That's all you thing. can do. <laughs> I just silenced. Yeah, it's, it's all, all bullshit shit. and just silenced the whole thing. I just didn't want them to fight. Yeah. But that was a uh, that was a pretty astute point. It's all bullshit. Or no, no, no. I have to show like, it to get to, show to get in yeah. a restaurant. I have to maybe, show my medical maybe, records to get into. Maybe a Maybe I can show my ID to vote. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's one I don't understand. But they were talking Voter about mail-ins. Yeah, it's showing your ID. You can show your ID to vote. Yeah, I've always, I've always kind of been confused by that. I guess historically it was a pretty racist thing. The show, well, I guess before, what, what was the, what was the thing back then? I don't fuck if I know. Back then they didn't do Some IDs. Of them, they would have like literacy tests. Did they for people that weren't like even allowed to go to school? They'd be like, yeah. yeah, I guess you can't vote. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. But if you know, to get people and be like, hey, if you're giving out free IDs, that's the that's the solution. Then that's fine. But yeah, but I mean, you know. But it, yeah, it I, I I believe you should probably have to show ID to vote. That's pretty important, you know. I yeah. think that makes sense. Just to make sure people don't. Now I don't want to come off as a goddamn white supremacist, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mind a little photo ID at the voting booth. Uh, you know, just to check. Call in. me old racist. <laughs> well, that was the thing. Like the, the other thing they covered was like the mail-ins is a hot topic. That was a bit. They they hit up the mail-ins. I'll tell you who's going to be saying. Malins, if you're against Malins, you're racist. Mm-hmm. I would imagine the Democrats. Yeah, I think they are going to rely pretty heavily on those Malins again. Yeah, don't you don't you dare, Sean Paul's this. Don't you dare perpetuate the great lie, dude. All right, put it back, put us back on. Don't you dare. Sorry, everybody, it. I'm the only patriot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the only one. Matt's a fucking corporate shill now. Don't you dare perpetuate the great lie, dude. The great lie. I don't the, even think it's a great, great lie. lie. I think uh, mail-in votes very clearly won the election. Like, <laughs> well, it's also you could tamper twenty to one. Now there is could. the argument. You could in clear theory. argument that obviously the people that were going to do the mail-ins were the ones who were scared of the COVID nineteen. True. Who tend to be the Democrats? Yes, they're the one. They're the scaredy cats. True. They but tend to be somebody, scaredy cats. The one thousand percent. But as somebody who has, I've personally rigged an election before. I've done it. Yes. I'm not going to say on record that Dems did it because I don't want to be rounded up. Yes. And put in an Australian camp. You don't want to go to Australia. I don't want to go to I don't want to be deported. They're going to be prison colonies again, dude. They were a prison colony. They're going to send over. I know. Novak Djokovic getting locked up in Van Diemen's land, dude. Son of a bitch. That's the tennis player. In transport. He was, yeah, that was his. They better have not have violated his gluten allergy. That will get me in the streets. When you're on Van Diemen's land, that's you get what you're you're gonna get some moldy bread. Dude. Did they really put him on Van Diemen's land? They're gonna go take the bread, <laughs> eat your fucking bread, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, that was a that was a fun ride, a nice tense 
ride to the I'm sure airport. it was. Nice tense ride. You should have brought up uh, gerrymandering. I, I, that would have been and a bad redlining idea. in districts. Dude, I thought, we said, have, how about these voting districts? I like them. They're redoing them, I think, now. Yeah, they're redoing them. They're remixing them. That's a little Both of them like the remix. A little remix. Both parties here. like the, the old remix. Do they really? Yeah, they want to get the people that are going to vote for them. Yeah, and the little thing. Yeah. Such a weird... I have an idea for uh, big tech censorship. What? And I don't know if it's actually feasible, but like when they boot people off of platforms, they should have a thing where they do a flash vote and it's like, here was the video, quick survey of all of our users. Do we think we should ban this guy? Mm. And if majority rules, they that'll stay be on. chaos. Yeah. That won't work. You don't think so? No. Flash vote? A flash vote is going to be what's the funniest outcome. You're going to be getting people kicked off for the funniest things. <laughs> true. Which true. rules? Which true. rules? True. Maybe the only way to get out of this, you know, certain technological dystopia is to embrace how funny everything is true and just constantly fuck with shit true. maybe that's the only way out of it it's possible but flash just, vote would be sick flash technological vote just democracy yeah you just do hey this person got kicked off what's everyone think you have three days it's just gonna be a guy screaming the n-word on the flight <laughs> no no, no it's, gonna be it's like, a poll. no he's good <laughs> well that's funny keep him around what was he gaming no, they would get they would get they would people, get those people boys. people would fuck. But then you'd get people like like Whoopi, like with the, that story. Big Whoop, she could get fired. Big Whoop might get fired. She I got to see fired. the whole clip because that thing you showed me now is a whole different thing. Oh really? I saw one part of it. Her just being like, her having to explain what she said there. Yeah, I think that might have been what it was. It was because I saw it in two different things, but it was her being like, well, that was like I, the thing. It seemed like she was trying to say again. I only saw a sliver, but it was like. That was, that wasn't so much about race as to like humans doing horrible things to humans, which is like pretty general. She was describing the Holocaust as not racial. Human. She was singing. She, dun, got dun, that dun, wrong. Dun, dun, dun. she was going human nature. Yes. She was like, that's just humans being mad, bad humans. But that's also she did the true. Jews. Are, she said the Jews are white. That's the big thing. You can't say the Jews are white. Yeah, but you can. I mean, that's always been the excuse. I've heard liberals point to that as why the genocide in Europe was so, it's so documented is sure. because this was the first time it happened to white people and we were like, how could this be? True. But also, it's but, one of, you know, it's but, also, it's, well, it's, but if you say Jews aren't white, now you're a holocauster. It's kind of, it's almost like you're damned if you're Jew, damned if you don't, dude. <laughs> dude. Ever since your return to the stage, you've been on fire. <laughs> Damned if you do. Damned if you don't. Wow. Well, wow. <laughs> wow. What a great audience. <laughs> uh, that was a big crime. Whoopi. But Whoopi's a fucking true Israelite. But Whoopi dude. being the true Israelite. Her last I agree. name. Her last I agree. name. Goldberg. Bears testament. Dude. Yes. She said, I think she also might have been saying, now based on how she covered it or responded to it, Maybe she wasn't, but it sounded like she was saying this is a white person problem. She said, that was this, is white, this is between you guys. Yeah. This is both of you guys, so you guys go settle it, which is, I thought she sounded like she was joking. It she, I think sound, she laughed when she got done saying it. Kind of funny. Yeah. Funny thing to say. But it sounded like she was saying it's funny that white people are censoring books to other white people. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. And she was like, all right, you guys go. This is what you guys want to argue about yeah. is censoring books. Go ahead. Which, yeah, by yeah. the way, that is a pretty big problem. True that. Once you start censoring books. It's no big whoop, bro. Make but it might not be it. a big whoop to you. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, you know, I uh, I also, I, I this, is a, this is a very controversial statement, so I'm going to try to parse my words. Uh, I feel like be if, careful. You did, if you did a real time YouTube poll of the black community, like how fucking whacked out are you guys about the fucking World War Two? They'd be like, we don't really give a fuck. Don't care. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't I, know what you guys were doing. I, I, exactly. That was Europe. That was purely European, dude. You want yeah. to talk history? No, hold on. All right, let's talk. I need up. to issue one thing before we start yes, chatting yes, yes, history. Yes, yes. I owe, I believe, an apology, perhaps, to the honky hockey player that. Got in that fight with P.K. Subban's brother. What happened? He claims he was just doing like, oh, you're tough. Like, strong guy. Oh. And he was like, I would never do that. Yeah, that seems like he got such fired. Yeah, thing. as soon as he, I heard his side, I was like, yeah, maybe. Can we see the tape? Well, did he, he can fire up the did tape. Did he go muscle up or muscle down? Depends. He might have done beat your chest, which I don't know. I don't know. No, I, mean, I don't. You're about to fight a guy, too. 
Yeah, but it's also I'm guilty of the same thing of just like, oh, I read the headline and I was yeah, like, you guys yeah, hear about yeah. this dumb racist fucking hockey player? What a piece of well, shit. Well, you were you were laughing. Like, That's crazy. I actually kind of defended him because the guy was trying to punch him in the face. Fair. Which, but in hockey. He did make a salient point about the nature of uh, yeah. what's, it, what's deemed outrageous and what's not. That's all I was going for there. Get um, some audio on there, please. Yeah, so what did you, let me see the vid. Are they... Uh, so they're fighting. They're going at it right now. The ref's breaking it up. I don't see. I can't see anything. Whoa. <laughs> Let me see. For the audio listeners, they're trying to watch the clip of the, this hockey thing. Sean's picked a rather lengthy clip. Try to find the clip and get back to us. You got it? Um. So now he's saying he went muscle man, like... You think you're tough and muscular he like I am? He's done it before to people. Like it's a taunt. It's a regular taunt. That's his taunt. Like when someone's being like, "Oh, I'll fuck you up," they're always like, "Oh, big guy, huh? You're a tough guy." Oh yeah, big yeah. strong guy, eh? Yeah. Huh. Well, well hopefully, you I know, think he's out of the league. I think he's he got gone. Cut from the fucking team for it. God damn! Really? Yeah. That made big news. That was big news. They're that, looking. They're that searching. Missed. Remember the fucking. What's his name? Bubba Wallace, Bubba Wallace in NASCAR? Yeah, like, there was, was a noose in his locker and all of NASCAR like marched with him like it was fucking Selma. Yeah, dude. It was <laughs> it turns just... out that was a rope from the garage. <laughs> they were like, well, but still. <laughs> but imagine seeing that. But imagine if it was. I know, it was like, dude. Well, it wasn't. Smollett got tried, didn't he? He got found guilty. Smollett was, yeah. I think I think Smollett was like, I could have sworn they're like dropping federal charges on him. Are they really? But then he got charged. I forget. They brought it back. I could have sworn deliberation was like an hour or two, which is funny. Really? Yeah. Like it was like very quick. Oh, they, like they were just like, yeah. Yeah, geez. dude. Let's get lunch. Let's eat these sandwiches and get back Let's out Let's get there. these free Jimmy John's. Yeah, like I don't, they probably checked their watch like, I don't want to go back to the last two hours of work. I'm not getting true. Let's I would these. sit there. I'd sit there and talk Smollett for 45 minutes more. That must have been fun. It was probably a bunch of people having a good old laugh about it. About Jussie? But you think those Nigerian guys jerked off with him? You think that's some shit he made up? I think that's probably true. Is that, That's what someone else said. I think that's true. I don't buy it for a second, dude. That they were doing drugs and whacking off? They might have been doing drugs with them. They weren't whacking off. Maybe, yeah. Those two guys, when you get into that that much into fitness like they are, no way you're doing that. I think that's when you start to... No way, dude. I, I just got into fitness. What do you think? If I've, small I've quarter... had some impure thoughts. About, <laughs> I've, I'll be honest, I've had some impure thoughts about you two and me right Really? Now. Just tossing Gardini back and forth like a beach ball. <sighs> you and me. Volley. Every time you're stepping up, you're just thrusting Bump, into one of set, us. spike Ugh. Gardini's cheeks. <sighs> His I mean, hairy, dude, you would his act. red hairy cheeks, dude. <laughs> he would, dude. You would. He wouldn't be able to breathe, dude. You'd have him face down the whole time. Mm. You'd be so rough with Gardini. Mm. And then I'd be using your. Sp- <laughs> what would you be using? I'd be using your juices as lube to get back in him. Oh my god, yeah. I'd fucking. I'd, I'd him ha- tap his butt with it. I'd have to. I'd have to be. I'd have to be kissing him during the moment of insertion. I'm a big moment of insertion head. Ooh. I'd have to see yeah. his face. I mean, you fucking. <gasps> Pinch his mouth. Look at so me. you would be in front of him while I was. I'm in front of him. He's like, Look at me. Shane, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> I'd have to make eye contact the whole time. Yes. I'd do one eye on each of you. And this You'd get me. Ugh. Moment of insertion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Sean. Can you find the goddamn clip or kill How can time? you not find this, dude? Aren't you like 22? It's a, it's a semi-pro hockey game. This is so good on it. This is all like- they call, that's a massive cover-up. Yeah. Let me see. So all I can see that could possibly, like, that's the dude, that's the white dude. They blocked him out. They blocked him out, and then he's kind of. That's a goddamn cover up. Kind of like flexing a little, but then they just, they start fighting. Them. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Interesting. So, but you, you're you saying this case hasn't totally been closed. I think the case is interesting. But the guy also said, like, hey, I'm sorry that, that you thought it was that. I wouldn't want that. Yeah. Like that's how he he seemed pretty sad. Yes, yeah, that's a bad thing right now, dude. So I owe that because I was quick to bring up the story as if that guy did do monkey gestures. You see what happened to Bob Saget? Yes, he, he fucking died. He cracked his head multiple he times. He cracked his head, dude. Who the what the fuck happened to him? I don't know. Did, did you murder. see the, like autopsy thing? No, I heard that he like. There multiple... was a guy who said like murder. They're calling murder. They said no foul play. Sean, the authorities said no foul play. Don't you dare contradict the authorities. The, the, the authorities also said that, um, well, this is all alleged, by he the way. He had an enlarged heart. Really? 
Might have been the old. He just loved so much. Flesh. He had the old big, uh, the big old heart. It was so uh, it was Valentine's Day. his autopsy. <laughs> I had a True. big old heart yesterday, dude. I had a big heart yesterday. My girlfriend got tired though, so that was she was grumpy. And I was really? like, "What happened, babe? I love you, babe." <laughs> the second the second she turns off, that's when I like her. That's when I'm like, "Wait, I need you." <laughs> when she passes out, yeah, my babe passed out on me last night after Valentine's. Dude, this dinner. is Bob Saget's autopsy. Valentino. He had severe skull fractures on the back of his head, the kind that doctors see when someone falls twenty to thirty feet. Or gets beaten with a baseball bat. What? That's what I was going to say. Okay. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> How wild is that? So he got fucked up. Yeah, they, they did rule out foul play, though. They think it was an accident. Where, though? Like, what the fuck? Nobody bonked. knows? Huh? <laughs> he got bonked. He bonked his head. He bonked Somehow. it pretty good. Someone bonked him, dude. They were saying, I was hearing people say that uh, he probably fell and didn't realize he had head trauma and then died because of he the trauma. He fell sleep. from where, though, dude? Nobody knows. Could have slipped in a tub. I think it was. Oh, wow, wow, Wes. Why don't you look at the camera so you know where to edit? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, crap, dude. That's why is that crap? Sean, a man that's died. Crap, a man dude. died. An American a man died icon. And she loved him. Men die every day. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Here's the wop talking. This is the wop half talking. Not, <laughs> not from fucking. Bob is saying the sleeper with the fish. Yeah. <laughs> not from not from skull fractures, dude. Somebody kicked his ass, dude. What? Somebody kicked Saget's ass. What the fuck? Man? I mean, dude, where? How do you know he didn't win? His bitch ass didn't fall. I mean, dude, he's dead. He lost. Yeah, but he could have won the fight. True, he might have fought like ten dudes. Yeah, and like ten of them hit him. Took with a bats. bat to the back you of the head. See and was the like, other what guy. The fuck? He's like, I didn't get boosted for this shit. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, Oh fuck, cardio's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh man, we're actually working on a website right now when we for when we inevitably kicked off of YouTube. Can't wait. Yep. So we'll be we got the bunker. I got the fucking bomb shelter wet. You're just securing ready, it. dude. Just ready. I don't know what you're doing. Just I'm letting you do it. Website, website. <laughs> I'm staying out of just it. Just a little website. Just so we can host independent video. Just you know, when the technocrats come cracking down. Yeah, but then after they're gonna, Trudeau they're gonna fucking crush our server. Nah, dude, I'll get a blade server and put it in my basement. They're not gonna be able to touch it. But no, we're good. We have storage is cheap. Let me tell you something. You, you, you guys don't know a goddamn thing about technology. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Luddites. Fucking Luddites, man. Dude, Spud sent me a Mark Pat. You know Mark Passio? Yes. That's Dude. no God's no master. Yes. Spud sent me a clip. Apparently, he's been beefing with every. Like, he's beefing with his fan base. He's going. He's just like. Dude, there was a thing where he gets kicked off of Patreon. He addresses Patreon. And then he addresses how dumb his fan base is because they yeah. don't know technology. It's the funniest <laughs> fuck. He's like, you idiot fucking Luddites oh, yeah, aren't got, doing shit. He got kicked off Patreon. The platform. That's yeah. scary. What for? Uh, Mark Passiel. He's like, I didn't even get it. I, I didn't even get into this whole thing. I just said it was a pandemic. And they fucking. What? Yeah, I mean, he, he's also like, you know, I, I'm sure he said more than that. Yeah. But yeah, he called, he called it like a psyop. I think he called it a psyop. <laughs> Patreon was like, nah. Yeah. That's where a lot of the lingo comes from. Oh, yeah. We get we get our lingo. It's trickled from Passial and Jones yeah. to, through war mode. Yeah. And it gets filtered through <laughs> war mode. And then me and Matt talk about it. Oh, yeah. Dude, but it's so fucking funny because he's uh, he's attacking the people who work at Patreon. And he was like, little boy, <laughs> piece of shit, little girl. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I don't give a fuck if you listen to my show or not. Go back to the first episode. Do your fucking homework. Yeah, he does. He is a grumpy guy. He's very grumpy, dude. Yeah. He might, his operations in fucking check, dude. What was the? Doesn't he have the? What's it called? The, the ark. The ark. <laughs> the ark. And people pirated the ark too. That pissed him off. <laughs> he had like three, he had like three terabytes of YouTube videos. He sold for like three hundred bucks, <laughs> and people just pirated it immediately. He was like, "You motherfucker!" <laughs> yeah. What was the ark? What was it about? <laughs> the ark. <laughs> so, it, doesn't he also like not pay taxes? Probably not. He's like, don't pay me in money. Pay me in. It oh, he's, some he's crazy big on big, shit. He's big on yeah. Bitcoin. That's that was one of his things. He's like, you guys don't know the first fucking thing about Bitcoin. It <laughs> pisses me off. <laughs> oh, what's it? How do I do? I don't know how to do that. You fucking luddites. We're not going to get anything done, dude. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he rules, dude. But he uh, well, so he's giving subscribe star a chance. He's like, let's see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if they're good to their their word. But yeah, dude, it was uh. The stream is very, very funny. The first, he's like, we're going to get into shadow work. He spends like 30 minutes just motherfucking 
basically the technocrats, and it's the funniest fucking thing. It's very good. I very hate the technocrats. I'm telling you, they might come clamping, dude. Trudeau starts fucking whispering. Trudeau's not doing good, dude. Dude, he's been a motherfucker. You dude. like the truckers? I'm a big fan of the truckers, dude. Yeah, I'd like to hear. I haven't. I haven't heard any of their. I've had dudes messaging me from Canada, grievances. being like, "I think they just don't want to be controlled." Yeah, I, th- I think they're like, "We want some saying stuff." Well, we, they should head down south, dude. South of the border, where, down where we live way. for free, dude. Come down to America. We way, love dude. freedom. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Come down to America. <laughs> we way. live but for free. They're truckers, dude. They love Canada. They yeah. love their homeland. You know, they like to they like to drive the trucks. But yeah, dude. Uh, apparently, they were just like enough of this bullshit, and uh, yeah, it was what mandates. Yeah, just the mandates and stuff. Mandates, tyranny. I heard Australia is getting a little wacky too. Is that yeah, going on? Dude, probably. You look into that? I didn't see Australia. I don't know anything about it. I'm all Canada right now. I, I was waiting on, for Australia, but. I'm focused on Russia, Ukraine. Yeah. And the battle. I got to fight. I got to argue with my girlfriend. It's going to be some good. That's going to be super soldiers, dude. She's no going to be mad at this, but it was a good argument. So we. we what we, was the argument? I tossed on uh, Fox. Put on Fox News for like five minutes. Beast. She was fuming. Instantly. Why was she fuming? Because it's the news. She yeah. watched Fox oh, News. God, All of a sudden, she was mad. Up. And she was like, man. Nah, nah, nah. And I was like, well, I was like, what's wrong? <laughs> what's what's happening? We were just having a nice day. Oh. And she was like, I'm listening to this. I mean, this is annoying. And I was like, okay. And then we keep watching. And I was like, you know, this is what it's designed to do. It's working on you. Oh, You're man. supposed to be angry. That's what this thing does. She's like, did you just call me dumb? <gasps> and I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, it'd be like the same as watching porn and being like, I can't believe I'm horny. <laughs> yeah, it's like true. watching Fox and being like, I can't believe I'm mad. Yeah, true. It's designed to make you mad. It'll get you, man. Yeah. Tuck will get me. If I watch Tuck, I'm like, Yeah, man. Tuck's funny, dude. He's very funny. He might be the king of late night. Oh, dude. My Gutfeld. power rankings right now. Gutfeld, uh, you think Gutfeld's one? I mean, the numbers nah, Tuck, don't if lie. Tuck, if Tuck wanted to sit like a sit down. Yeah. Con- He'd be nasty. He's got some writers, dude. Mars is killing it lately, too, dude. Yeah, Mars. A lot of people are. A lot of listeners aren't going to like this. Bill Maher. No, nah, he's not being a total. If anyone's yeah. not being a total pussy about this whole it's thing impressive. right now, I'm like, whoa, crazy. Yeah. Noah dipped his toes in the water. Trev. Trev. Oh, I thought he meant yeah. our dear Noah, who no, has no. been missing. I haven't seen the boy. Yeah, he's, he's getting his education. He's, he's got. His, he's studying. He's in school. Which is important. Yeah, Trevor Noah came out and said something. Like, said something about the vaccine companies being like, like the fact that the guy, I don't know what the fuck he said, but it was like one of the owners of the companies was like, nah, our vaccine's good. And everyone's like, all right, cool. And yeah. He's like, oh, maybe he uh, has a reason to, uh... and they were people like, how fucking dare you? They spazzed on him. Really? Yeah, but he'll go into liberal re-education. Like, I'm sorry. Time... He'll be with Whoopi. Just be well, like, that's what he did. It's time to re-educate ourselves. He made a Holocaust joke? When? A while ago. And he had to go, he had to go to like. Re-educate himself? I could be wrong on this. Where do they go? He had to go to like the Holocaust Museum. And he just <laughs> did he do the M M&M and M deal? Had to say I'm sorry. Yeah, he did, did the M and M deal. Yeah, fucking... dude. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? I don't know, dude. Was that for that? Was that BLM? Yeah, yeah, that was BLM. M and M. No, was M&M's that... three years late? He kneeled, dude. <laughs> I, I saw him kneel. Yeah, but, but was that? Yes, that was BLM. No, the commissioner came out and was like, "We were aware he was going to do that. Like we knew." So like M and M's people again. This is just for me glimpsing the news while I'm taking a dump. But M and the story in my head is that. His team called the NFL like M's going to kneel, and, <laughs> and the NFL had to be like, "All right, well, it's going to look dumb, <laughs> but okay." The, M's yeah. going to kneel right before Mary J. Blige. <laughs> it's like, okay, damn, that sucks, dude. What are you... Yes, that's so. Funny. I wish I could kneel with my hip flexors. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That'd be a sick excuse. I was right excited. Daniel. I was excited for fifty. Yeah, it's because he's fat. Fifty cent hanging, yeah, for, hanging from the rafters. He's dude. jolly, dude. What the fuck was he thinking? <laughs> I didn't see it. How did no one say no? The big don't do that. Yeah, he was. He did. You remember the in in the club? Yeah, in the club. His music video. Yep. He's hanging upside down. He, he did that again <sighs> with the G Unit fucking beater he's on. Just, he must look be he's, huge. He's huge, dude. What? But he's hanging upside down. So he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and it started. He was trying to go like go. Go like that part. He's oh. like, go. <laughs> that was go. Ge- that was geezers having fun. That was geez fun. That was the geez central, dude. Doctor Dre. I was praying for rap god, dude. Yeah, what the hell? I wanted rap god. Why did you lose yourself? I don't know. That's a big. That's a good Super Bowl. It wasn't his song. show. It wasn't his show. Too. Yeah, it wasn't his show. Kendrick dominated. I heard he was good. Yeah, I liked all the anti-police rhetoric as well. 
That's what I liked. That was important. What was going on? What was the anti-police rhetoric? There? <laughs> There's a couple lyrics that were like, "Fuck the cops." Yeah, yeah. it's pretty fun. Yeah, that's good. I don't mind it. Yeah, I, I got in an argument with a uh, an argument. I got in an argument with Brittany. We uh, they teach Maya. We've been sending Maya to daycare, and they teach her like like sign language stuff, or they're trying to. And Brittany's like, "What's the sign language for family?" And I hit Maya. I was like, "I hit Maya." Like, <laughs> oh no! With the B, B gang, dude. <laughs> and Brittany was like, "That's not funny." <laughs> I knew people who were in stuff like that, and I was like, "All right, well, that's." I'm like, "Well, it was funny." I was like, that's "This what, was it's funny. funny for me." To, that's what the whole I just point. did was funny. She's like you didn't, you didn't grow up around that. I'm like, "That's why it's funny for me to do this." It's easy for me to laugh about. So then, exactly. And I'm like, and it's funny. The fact that I can chuck up a nice B, dude, is yeah. sick. She's like, that's that. And then, uh, <clears throat> Bro, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. My lady hit me with the, in the Russian Ukraine argument. Yeah. She was like, I'm part Ukrainian. Oh, no. I couldn't believe it. Oh, no. Someone's was in the dying air. dying laughing. <laughs> I was like, you've never said this once. What are you talking about? Really? Yeah. She might be a, a spy. Perhaps. She might be a spy, dude. She's trying to compromise me. <laughs> She still, she probably poisoned my quads. Damn, it, yeah, Brittany went there on me with that. I'm like, really? Well, Brittany's is a little. Yeah, but it's like, dude, she's I, from Chicago. I know, I know, and I get my, that. My, my lady has no ties to the Ukraine, dude. She might. True, that's fair. She she's might. gonna be very mad. I brought that up. That's it. Is this funny. is another fight? We're nah. gonna fight about Russia again. Well, now you've exposed her, dude. The whole operation's in jeopardy. True. <laughs> Right now, Putin's on there. He's on the other line. They're upstairs. We got to, uh, abort. <laughs> He's on to us. Well, dude, here was the thing. I, I was like, all right, like, my bad, but it is funny. Like, I get what you're saying. She, you yes. didn't grow up around that. You started going. You grew up in the suburbs. I said, I did. And I'm, you know, I'm happy my parents did that. And that's, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always. I mean, that's the best one. Be that's like, oh, yeah, you have a nice house or whatever. It's yeah. Like, yeah, my dad worked hard. It was yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy the books, worked oh, hard. Yeah, just entrepreneurship. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the. Yes. Yeah, so then I was like, you know, so I, I took it. I was like, okay, you know, I'm, it's funny. I'm right. It's funny. But it's like, <laughs> I get it. I get it. All right. So then she's talking about the halftime show. And she's like, yeah, Snoop Dogg was crip walking. I was like, oh, hmm. really? Yeah. You think he should be doing that? He's glorifying gangs and violence? She's like, well, it's different. He was in that gang. I'm like, that's a big Even platform. worse. <laughs> big platform. Yeah. So I, I started, she's like, you're really mad about that, aren't you? I was like, no, I'm cool. I just want, you know, fair treatment. If Snoop yeah. Dogg can crip walk, I think, you know. I think I can toss up the blood to our daughter. I might have to join the bloods. Sue Woo. I might have to, dude. I Sue Woo, if you to. bang him, bro. I know one dude who's he claims being the bloods. Really? I might hit him up like, bro, I got. I need to beat my wife in this. Can I please dedicate my life yes. to the bloods, dude? <laughs> I'd be happy. Next, yeah. You got to start rocking it. Dude, if I started going B-Gang, it'd be me, Wheezy. From Bompton? If I was Bompton. <laughs> if I was B-Gang, dude. Matt McBompster. <laughs> Matt Mc... I can't even... Matt McBub. <laughs> yeah. McBusker. <laughs> Matt McBuster, dude. Yeah, bro. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, man. She pissed... That bothered me so much. I'm like, okay, why... What is it? What is the difference? Bro, I got hit with, I'm Ukrainian. <laughs> <laughs> In a fight I didn't want to have. <laughs> I had no... I had no, like... Nah. It was crazy. What did you, yeah, well, how did it end? What did you do? I had to leave to go to a show. So I left, slammed the fucking door, oh, got no. an Uber, started texting as soon as I got in oh, there. I was yeah. like, what the fuck was that? Why are we fighting? <laughs> she was like, you were mean. I was like, I wasn't mean. It, well, the thing is, they do say that you should do that. You should sit, You should create a boogeyman for your bay. Something they can hate to take the heat off of you. Putin. True. Putin is a good one, but yeah. you can't. You got to be careful when you're playing with that. Yeah, but I sided with Putin. <laughs> yes. I sided, created the boogeyman, and sided with him. Yeah, dude. I was like, well, look into Euro Maidan. I was like, what do you know about that? <laughs> I was in there Wikipedia and everything. <laughs> I was like, you don't even know about that. I know about that. <laughs> like NATO, they told it. They said they wouldn't do that. They yeah. said they wouldn't surround him. That's what they're doing. I mean, you look at, gets... dude, look at those Western provocateurs, dude, in Euro Maidan. You know, what are they like doing? It. So I think the Russian president at the time, sided with Russia instead of NATO. Okay. Instead of to join the EU. Oh, the they, Ukrainian president? Yes. Did okay. I say Russian? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, I ho sure hope he would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just good comedy. Uh, <laughs> don't do that, dude. What? Knee slapper? Yeah, it's, uh, I can't. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. You can slap, you can't slap my knees? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I'm so fully, fucked up. You should fully go in a rapture on stage and be like, uh, uh, <laughs> so like, like uh. dude, that's another word. I have to do that sometimes. <laughs> that workout where you, where you lay on your back. Oh, you do bridge. Uh, yeah. Just a fucking nub sticking out of my gym shorts. <laughs> dude, just a nub straight in the air. And my trainer just stands there and watches. And I'm like, 
Don't look at my nub, bro. <laughs> you wear 